Welcome. This is a demo of the Healthy Game Cox project developed by the AI Institute at the University of South Carolina in collaboration with the Student Health Services and the College of Nursing. The Healthy Game Cox project is still under development with the main two applications being the mobile application on the left side of the screen and the, the dashboard on the right side. Starting with the mobile application, which will be available to students on both the iOS App Store and the Google Play Store. To clarify, both applications will be using the university's authentication service. Once a student logs in successfully, if it's their first time, they will be presented with a one-time questionnaire that will be required. So for the sake of this demo, I will just show one of the questions, but the students will have to fill out the entire questionnaire to be able to use the application. And it consists of 22 questions at the moment, which might be uh, become more than that. Once the student is done with the questionnaire, they will see this page, which is the main page of the application. The main component is the daily check-in. This is in a form of a chat bot, which will assist the students in identifying symptoms and also connecting them with the appropriate channels. This is still under development. But for the sake of the demo, let's say yes, and let's check that we have a breathing problem, coughing up blood, confirm, and submit. And for now, the application is letting them know that it will check back with them and that they should go ahead and check in with the student health services. But for later, uh, once the development is done, this will automatically connect them with the student health services and schedule the appropriate, um, take the appropriate steps for scheduling an appointment. Some of the resources here are the daily statistics page and also the frequently asked questions. There is also a local news section, which will be also controlled by the dashboard as we will see in a moment. Now on the dashboard side, it's also the same for the authentication. So it's still using the university's authentication service. Once the users log in, they will be presented with the, with the statistics here on this page to kind of give an overview of the situation. There's also a symptoms page uh, where people can search for symptoms. So searching for a coughing symptom, you can look at how many students have each of these symptoms and also the frequency and also the risk factor of these symptoms. There's also a users page where the user can search for specific users using their ID or also filter through the users uh, using their status. There is a three color setup here uh, where we have a high risk as red, a low risk as yellow, or no risk as green. And everything on the dashboard is being updated real time per the information we're gathering from the mobile application from the students. On the news page here, this is how we manage the news that pop up on the mobile application. So this is where you can actually edit parts of the news that you're displaying or remove them entirely or add a new article to the news that the students will be able to see. This was a quick demo on the progress of the project and we are working hard to ensure the security and integrity of the platforms and to bring more useful features. Thank you and stay safe.